What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Apollo saying he wants to get the EM2 done on Firebase with the normal scope on it, the default scope. So that's what we're doing today. And if you want to leave a suggestion on what weapon you want to see me do next, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll have one there as well. And make sure you check that out before leaving your comment. That way we don't get any weapon repeats. And if you're feeling frisky, make sure you join our Discord if you want to vote on things for other series on this channel. So we have our EM2 right here. We have a level 48. We leveled this up on stream. If you guys want to hop in some streams, play some games, make sure you turn on those notifications. But for our build here, I'm going SOCOM Eliminator, Task Force Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, Bruiser Grip, 40 Round Mag, speed tape in the SAS combat stock. And for our grunge camo, we have 1,136 kills. So we're gonna need uh, probably about double that. And then crits, we are really far away. We need 2,000 more. Pack-a-punch, need about 2,000 more there as well. Vintage is done. Fauna's almost there. Topo, we got none for, and we still need to unlock infection. So quite a bit to do today, actually. And let me go ahead and switch my field upgrade here to ring of fire. So let's go ahead, hop on Firebase and get this thing done. All right, here we go. Twin and I driving in on the Firebase. One of us definitely got a change. Can't be seen in the same fit as someone else. But I think this is one of the few weapons that we have not used against Orda. I know it's kind of crazy because I think we've used just about every other weapon against him but i don't think i've ever tested the m2 against him so i'm curious to see how it does against him today and i'm i'm glad to be back to grinding here for a while i was sick and then we were doing some campaign streams but it feels good to be back and i'm not really sure where the em2 kind of like lines up with the other ars i don't think it's like in the upper echelon of ars i think it's probably near like low to bottom but when I was leveling this up, I didn't see any problems with it. It's got a 40 round mag. That's pretty decent ammo. It's fire rate. It's not bad. I don't know. I guess we'll see once we start getting to like the 30 and 40 rounds and see how it holds up there. Because if we can sit there and hold down in a weapons lab, I think is what's called, where we build the Ray K or even in kernels without having to like leave the room. I think that's a good test to see like how much this weapon can put up with. Let's go ahead and head on up. It's so weird coming back to Cold War after playing like some of the older zombies games. Like I just started playing BO3 recently. It seems like the zombies aren't even really a threat. Like, I am not afraid of getting hit in this game at all. Like, there's no need to train or anything. So I, I'm kind of starting to see how, like, more older zombies players have felt, or at least people that have been in the community for longer about Cold War. But I still really do like this game. It's got a nice charm to it. I feel like it's a lot of fun. And the whole camo grinding aspect of it really just pulls me in. But the zombies definitely not, not that threatening. All right, let's open this up and head on towards our first reactor. Open that up. Grind the rail. Nice, still got it. Quick loose change, and we'll start this bad boy up right about now. Those are our acidic camo, first camo of the day. And our reactor is just about done. Get the fuck out of here. Pop this door open, and let's start up our second reactor right about now. And this should be our last zombie. There we go. Reactor two is complete. Grind the rail, spin rail. Oh, I kind of bounced off it. All right, one more time. I feel like this one it always takes two tries. Yeah. Okay, I'll count that. I, I might have just gone straight down the stairs, but it at least looked kind of cool. Open up. No mimic spawning here. That's what I like to see. And we'll grab this loose change. In reactor three, get going. And reactor three is done. And there's our boundary camera. Let's go. All right, let's grab our loose change from here. And I'm buying dead shot right away. We need to get these crits over and done with. There's our forecast camo. Let's go. Still racking them camos up. I think I'm going to chill here in village until I got enough to get all my perks and to get pack punch and all that good stuff. I'm going to buy a few perks before we go and do the jug Easter egg, the little bunny Easter egg. Otherwise, if we just get the free jug, all our perks are going to be more expensive. How does this zombie become a crawler for me shooting it in the head? Get the fuck out of here. Wait, you get out of here first. Now you get out of here. Let's grab death perception so we can start upgrading this thing. Get some scrap from it. A little salvage. Mimic, you don't want the smoke, dude. Get out of here. Night, night. I feel like mimics getting crits on them is so hit or miss. Because it'll show up the yellow text. Like you hit them in the head like you're hitting them in the crit spot. And then they die and it's no crit. Like they're scammers, dude. Let's go ahead and grab speed cola. Speed up our life a bit. And there's our sunder camo. These three crits in a row stupid easy camos and i think at the end of this round i'm gonna go ahead and do the bunny easter egg we got three perks now i think that's fine we can go ahead and add some free jug onto that now let's upgrade our gun to green and that's about all we can do blue tiger camo almost done with all those we just need the rising tiger i think it's called now i know i made an april fool's video about this you know add a little salt to the wound but uh i think 
The rumblings about Zombies Chronicles 2 might actually be true. I, I don't know. I, I don't know for sure. It's definitely just things I've seen on Twitter. So don't take any of this for like gospel. But if they drop something, like if they drop Zombies Chronicles 2 and Cold War, I'm going to lose my mind. Especially if we get new guns along with it. If I get more guns to grind and new maps to grind them on and just new maps to play on in general here in Cold War, I, I'm going to be in heaven. I'm going to have to ordered several new pairs of pants because i'm gonna shit my pants put on a new pair and shit through those so uh, hopefully these leakers aren't just like putting zombies chronicles 2 in their their tweets and other youtubers putting it in their titles just to you know tease us i hope there's like some validity to it and that something's actually coming because in all the leaks i've seen it seems like the thing that's giving them like credibility is that buried in die rise is coming but not transit and that seems to be the main thing like everyone's saying like these two maps are coming, but not this. I wonder why that is. Why leave transit out? Maybe they can't figure out how to get the mechanic into the game. So I feel like it would work really well here in Cold War, especially now that, you know, zombies games are more technologically advanced than they were back when they're trying to make transit. Like they're not limited by their hardware. Oh, Mimic, put me down, you bitch. I don't know. I I really hope the, the rumors are true and we do get some like year two zombies content, but I'm trying to not get my hopes up too much. Let's see what we got in here. Any jug? Well, obviously, there's going to be Jug. I was going to say any ray gun, but I fucked it up. Either way, free perk. Also, I just recently played through the, the Cold War campaign for the first time. I, we, we did two streams of it. If you guys want to check it out, they're still up on the channel. If you want to watch through them. But in, like, one of the very first missions, we see, like, Firebase C, like, the actual place. Like, the, the campaign map and where everything's at. And there's just so much, like, extra stuff to it. Like... The whole area behind here, this whole village is like a whole walkable area. It's even like drivable through an RCXD on here. Uh, I just don't get what they chose to use and what they chose to not use. I mean, I know it's a huge thing in the zombies community to complain about like reuse assets. Personally, I don't care if we're getting more content, like more things to play on. Like, more maps to play on. I feel like it's fine. I don't really give a shit if it's been in the campaign before, because who cares? But I do kind of understand the gripe with Firebase Z in this first area. Not using anything out here. Like, this could have been so nice and open, and it's just all, like, labs. But I, I kind of feel like the, the whole people that complain about reused assets were kind of the reason why we didn't get a whole lot of that whole outside area here on Firebase Z. It's like, oh, we've already seen this whole part of the map in the campaign. Why do we need to see it again? So like, all right, well, let's go throw them up in labs through a portal up in the mountains somewhere. I kind of feel like it's a catch-22. People complain about reused assets and they're like, fine, we'll try to do something different with like some of these other assets that aren't seen as much. I don't know. The whole conversation is weird to me. Uh, if they're going to reuse content to make more content for us, I'm so fine with it. But let's grab Pack-A-Punch here, and I'm going to throw on Cryo. Really quick, this is what the EM2 looks like with Pack-A-Punch 1 on it. Uh, the camo is awful. I really don't like the first Pack-A-Punch camo, but the coverage on this weapon is insane. This is going to look great with Dark Aether. Look at this Mimic, frozen in time. Each ship. You know what? Let's ring a fire real quick. What is this thing like in Ring of Fire? Also, while well, it's Pack-A-Punch, 80 bullets in the mag, that's not bad. And this thing's shredding with Ring of Fire. I think most weapons do, but... That whole horde just disappeared in a second. Because even uh, in my in my stream chat, people were giving me mixed reviews about the EM2. Some people were saying they're working on it and, you know, it, it's a great weapon. They like it a lot. Other people saying it's like mid or awful, like the worst AR. So far, not bad. I've seen worse. Definitely have seen worse. All right, what other perks do we need? I guess I'll get quick revive just in case because I'm a dumbass and anything can happen. And we'll get mule kick so we can keep our ammo. Insta kill. Do not want or need that. What's up, Rising Tiger Camo? come on over. Like I was saying before, since I've played a lot of old zombies games, I've come to realize that insta-kill is not necessary in Cold War. We do not need it. Anytime I see insta-kill, I always usually just avoid it. Because the zombies are usually pretty easy to kill in this. I mean, if you're using a decent weapon. And all insta-kill really does is just mess up your timing and stops you from getting your field upgrades. I don't know. Not a big fan of it. Also kind of fucks with camos. TBH and GL. Not being able to get some like crits because like one bullet hits like a shoulder or something. It's kind of annoying. But let's go ahead and grab stamina. up, And we're almost all set. It's round 12 too. I don't know where the assault wave's at, but if it's not coming by next round, something's weird. Something's happening here. Are you a mimic? Yep. Why'd it take so long for you to stop being scrap, you tool? But I don't know. What, what, do you, what do you guys think about, like, Zombies Chronicles 2 and all that? Do you think it's actually happened? Do you think it's real? Do you think the, it's just gonna be buried in Die Rise? Do you think they're gonna throw in Transit, or they might throw in some other maps? Like, 
What are your guys' thoughts on it? There's our assault wave. I could smell it coming. All right, let's grab PhD and head on out there. Actually, can we upgrade it all before we leave? Let's get this to blue. Armor level two and three. Let's get out of here. Are the zombies already here? Damn. Guess what, zombies? Schleet, all of you. You're all just walking crits to me. All right, that was so easy. All right, there we go. Let's grab these and let's go set up in a weapons lab. Try to grind through some rounds. Maybe we should turn on the rampage inducer. Let's do one round in weapons lab and then we'll go turn on the rampage inducer. We'll see how it's like just normally. Normal zombies and then rampage inducer the rest of it. There's our bloodshed camo. We're at 1500 kills, a thousand more and we're all done with our normal kills. Yeah, well, that was an easy round. Literally like nothing happened. Maybe I'll give it one more. Oh, I can see Sergey's head from here. We need to go rescue him. Maybe we should grab him like after we get all set up because I know the second we go through the portal and come back, this head's just going to despawn and respawn. I know people like I've, I've asked this every time I've seen Sergey. I'm asked like, what the hell is his head doing here? What is this for? Apparently there's like a side Easter egg for it in like the, the lab over here. So maybe we'll try to get him over there and see what happens. Hey, let's do that real quick. Before we turn on the rampage and do so, let's go on a little side quest. I'm coming, Sergey. Mimic. Lick balls, dude. Come here, Sergey. I wish I could open and close that door because I need that shot for these zombies to spawn right. Uh-oh. All right, well, hold on, Sergey. I gotta take these guys out. And we're le weapon level 50. We can start getting our jackrabbit camos now. Okay, let's take these guys out and I think we can outrun a few of them. All right, one zombie left. You're gonna have to follow us. All right, Sergey, where do you live? It's, it's gotta be in here, right? This table? Yeah, place his head. How much does it weigh? What else do I need to put here? I got no idea. All right, well... Enjoy, Sergey. Maybe it's one of those traps, those essence traps. I, mean, I don't feel like doing part of the Easter egg, but Sergey's home. He made it. A little kiss goodbye. All right, now that our side quest is complete, I'm heading back to spawn. I'm getting pack two. And I'm turning on the rampage inducer. Here's pack two. And I'll wait for the round to end. And then we'll turn on the rampage inducer. But first, let's shred through these zombies. Everybody get the fuck away from me. Thank you. Not getting that many crits right now, though. But we got our corrosion camo. Working our way up the jackrabbit ladder. Uh-oh, I actually ended the round. I guess I'll start it up and run for my life. There we go. Let's run. Oh, I actually, I also forgot to show the pack punch two camo. I'll try to show it at the end of the round if I remember. Oh wait, let's just do it right now. No zombies around. Here's pack two on the EM2. Pretty baller, pretty nice. The default scope on it is actually beautiful. All right, now let's get the fuck out of here. And we're back to weapons lab. Now we can just chug away at our camos until Orta shows up. Uh oh, I don't have ring of fire. I need it. I need it. I'm throwing a decoy down. Holy shit. I don't think this thing can keep up at the moment. Bring a fire go. Right now. There we go. Reload. Okay. Now, I'm kind of having second thoughts on the EM2. Maybe it is as bad as people were saying, but we're also in still a pretty low round. Let's let's see what happens when we get further. It's pretty satisfying to use, though. I'll give the, the EM2 that. It's pretty cool. It's a unique weapon. No. Reload. We got our contamination camo, though. And a nuke. Damn it. Come on. I don't want that. At least it's an assault wave. Well, let's go take care of it. Not quite enough to get pack three, though, which is unfortunate. Unless this mimic wants to give me money. Nope. Does this mimic want to give me money? At least enough money to get pack three? Nope. What about this one? Money? Almost. And normally I would stay up there, but I feel like it's easier to get crits when I'm, like, on their level. Let's just wait to see what portal they spawn in and see if we can just mow down a whole horde. Oh, right here, middle. There we go. Whole wall of yellow text. You love to see it. Oh, you guys need to get the fuck back. Get away from me. Ooh, ooh. Okay, the EM2's holding off now. Let's go. Last zombie though. Oh wait, maybe not. There's a whole nother horde coming. But there's our glitch camo. And goodbye zombie. Let's go. Easy round. And now we have more than enough to get pack three. So I'll try to leave a zombie at the end of this round. I can help it. But first, right on the rail. I'm just going to count that one, too. Oh, look at our elimination. 699. Sex. It's been a while since I caught one of those. I feel like I've been missing them. Same with the weed. I haven't seen too many 420s. There's our conviction camo. We're all done with jackrabbits. I have not seen our pack-a-punch camo pop up, though, unless I missed it. We have very few zombies left, though. I'm going to go get pack three. All right, let's go ahead and grab pack three. And this is what pack-a-punch three looks like on the EM2. Beautiful. Like I said, the coverage on this is kind of insane. I can't wait to see it with dark aether again. All right, round's over, but we're still caught here. Shit. Uh, I'm going to grab Tombstone just in case. Ever since that one time where I went down and Tombstone was the only way that I could have been saved and I didn't have it, I have to buy it every time now. As much as I, like, loathe Tombstone and how useless it is in most cases, when you don't have Electric Cherry or Quick Revive or a uh, Self Revive, uh, just that being the final option there, it's, like, it's helpful sometimes. It's very situational, but it's helpful. It's, like the last kid being picked for like soccer or something holy shit holy shit zombies get the fuck off me get destroyed 
absolutely obliterated. Can we upgrade this? I'm sure we could. There's purple. And we're about halfway to gold. There's our drench camo. 1500 while it's packed. There's our threshold camo. Just a little behind our pack a punch. And we might go down here. But I'm refusing to let it happen. Let's go. We fought it off. So we're at uh, 1831 crits. We'll be done. Holy shit. Zombies get the fuck off of me. Bring a fire. All right. We're powering through. We did it. We're fine. This gun's actually kind of insane. I'm one tapping zombies. I've stopped like full autoing. I'm just hitting like both my triggers at the same time, basically. And it's just one bullet to the dome and they're gone. This is especially crazy with Ring of Fire. Hold on. Let me take out the Mangler first. Elites still need to be full autoed. But the rest of the zombies just bang, 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 bang. Of course. Mimic, get out of here. This isn't for you. You either, Mangler. But these guys bang, 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 bang. Any more? Watch this. Bang. Sleep. Gone. Good night. See you later. Um, get out of here. Goodbye. Oh, and we have enough to get this to gold. There we go. Now our EM2 is fully maxed out. This is as max damage it's going to do, at least with this build. And it's not doing bad. That's a nice way to conserve ammo, too. And keep track of how many bolts you got. I feel like it's a more efficient way of getting crits, too. It's a little more work on the fingies. But not that bad overall. Oh, please don't kill me while I reload. Fuck off, zombies. No. No. Damn it. This is stupid. I kill this guy to get up? Oh, I'm going to have to use my self-revive. So there goes that. All right, well, took till round 28 for our first down. Could have been user error. I don't know if I had a ring of fire or not when it happened, but it, I probably did. So EM2 looks to level out at round 28, at least in my hands. Let's grab our perks back while there's not that many zombies around. Let's make sure we get all of our armor back. And I'm going to buy a self-revive. There's been too many times where I've gone down and not bought it back, and it's come back to bite me. So there's our self-revive mangler. Stop being a dick. There's our rotten camo. All done with our normal kills. Pretty sick. And the, here comes Orda. Right on round 30. We hardly ever see that from him. Very punctual. I appreciate it, Orda. Now it's time to get your ass kicked. I think it's just because I used my ring of fire two seconds before the round ended. I think that's why he decided to show up, show up so early. Mimic, I don't got time for you, dude. All right, come on in, Orda. Little bit of a dick move to come here when I don't got a ring of fire, but it's all right. I'll just kill all your zombie friends. Let's see what it does to him raw. That's raw dog Orda. I don't see him though. This is like the worst spawn. There it is. 1400 per shot. That's not bad. And it does not look like it's rising though, but it is just dismantling his health. Hold on. Let me kill a few zombies real quick, Orda, and then I'll be right with you. Let's toss some nades down this way. Maybe I'll get a few crits. See, this how unthreatened I am by you, Orda. I'm just taking out all these zombies. All your little zombie pals are going to get fucked up. Where's the rest of them? Oh, they're all right here. All right. Now we have Ring of Fire. Right in time for his crit spot. That did 4,000 damage. Oh, yeah, you're done. 5,000, actually. His health is just draining so fast. I don't think I've seen it go down that fast. Holy shit. Later, loser. Oh, my God. The EM2 is nice against Orda. It is nice. He hasn't even gotten here yet. The, the assault wave is still going because he's in shock of how fast he got killed. I wasn't even shooting at him for most of the assault wave. Just so happened to get my ring of fire right when his crit was up. And he just got smacked into oblivion. Jeez. I guess while we're here, let's try to hold out in kernels. Kernels is still the goaded grinding spot. It might be a little slower than some others. But the fact that they all run in a single file line. Like right down here. And you only have to worry about like a mangler spawning in the left window every once in a while like this is the safest most efficient spot well maybe not most efficient but well, i guess in combination with safe yeah still amazing spot if you haven't used it you should definitely try it all right as we're getting into the later rounds here where the zombies are becoming a little more of a threat it's seeming like the em2 is having a hard time keeping up with the armored zombies i mean i think that's this happens with a lot of weapons and i definitely recommend like having like another blueprint made with a weapon with the, the cavalry lancer barrel. Because that does bonus armor damage and just switching to it once you get to like round 30. But it's it's really struggling on those armored zombies. It feels like it almost takes a full clip. It's like fighting an elite. Like the, the mimics and the manglers. They take about like a majority of the clip to kill without ring of fire. Because they're just so tanky. They have so much health. But those armored zombies are basically like pseudo elites. They just be bullet sponges. There's our chemical camo. All done with our pack-a-punch. And now we just need crits. Per usual. All right, we got a stuck mangler here. I guess this is the perfect opportunity to show you guys how this thing does against armor since we don't have the cavalry lancer barrel on, but it takes a lot of shots to break it. And now he's dead. So it's not that crazy when they're not coming at you and there's no other zombies, but when there's an armored zombie in the mix and it's sitting there 
taking all the bullets for the whole horde, it, it kind of gets tricky. It gets a little dicey in those moments. Like this fucking mimic. Get out of here. Uh, Ring of Fire is the remedy for all. This thing still one taps with Ring of Fire. Oh no, there's an armored zombie. Oh, decoy going out. Oh, please don't let me live. Please let me live. Nade going on the ground too. Jug save me. Holy shit, Jug save me. You know, people say Jug's not that necessary in this game, and I kind of tend to agree. Because uh, you don't go down in two hits or three hits or whatever. But when you get down to like where a hit will knock you, it does have the chance to save you. And that's very useful. Yeah, look at this heavy zombie just tanking shots. Holy shit. But it took us until round 36 to have to jump out the window. We had to big Sean it on 36. Oh, no. Armored zombie, go away. No. Oh, armored zombie forced me out of the corner. And I just got got right before I made it to the window. Looking like I might need elemental pop now. All right, well, let's try to tough it out right here. So we're extremely close. Damn it. No, that is bad. That is very not good. I say we're extremely close to getting this thing dark aether. Like literally like 60 kills away. I think please let me up. All right, zombie. You're my only hope here. Do not move out of this corner. I got to knife the shit out of you. Please don't leave this corner. Come on. This health's not going down by that much. We're only doing 800 per knife. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't make me go back. Don't make me restart, please. Almost there. We almost got it. It's almost like we're jerking off. We got it. We got it up. Let's go. Okay. We got it up. Oh my God. Oh yeah. I have a cruise missile. I can use this if I need it. I really need to work on my phrasing. Sounding sus as hell, but we survived. Made it through the door. We have no perks, no way to get back up if we go down right now. Absolutely no way. So what I'm going to do is throw down this decoy. Oh no, there's a mimic there. Shit. Okay. What do I do in this situation? No ring of fire. I have a few nades, no PhD. So let's hop down here. Uh, there's quick revive right here. I don't know if I want to trust that. There's, It's going to be really difficult to get back up, even if I have Quick Revive. Okay, we're just going to run around for a bit. Get these zombies trained up. No, no hitting. No touching. Okay, cruise missile. Now we have a few zombies here. We'll take out most around like that. And let's just start nading. We have to train around and nade. That's the key to victory here. We can nade until we get a ring of fire. And then that might be good enough to save us. Holy shit, why is there 45 mimics? I've never seen this many mimics at a time. They're fucking with me. Every mimic possible in the round has spawned. Is that a nuke I see? No, it's a max ammo. It works. It works. We'll take it. Holy shit. I can't believe we're surviving right now. No, 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 no. Don't grab me. I do not need to be in a field of mimics. What I can do though, repair my armor real quick. Get these shots in. I got no dead shot to help me. You have a C4 though. There we go. That's decent damage on him. No! Oh, and there's a self-revive on the ground. I got it. I got it. We have a self-revive. We're in this. Oh, this is the, uh, one of the most insane clutches I've ever had. You don't really need clutches in Cold War, but we did today. Okay, all my perks are back. We did it. We're safe. Oh, we're safe and sound. Do I need anything before I go? We picked up a self-revive, so I don't need to buy one. We have all of our perks. We rebought armor. We're good. We're fine. Maybe I'll grab decoys on the way there, but we made it. We did it. Holy shit. Only 60 crits away. You guys have no idea how heart-wrenching it is. Well, maybe you guys do. But at least for me, when I'm recording these, it takes a while to get up to the point where you're getting like consistent crits, like if like round 15 further than that. And those early rounds, there's only like a few zombies in them. Oh, I'm going in the wrong spot. I'm definitely going to die there. But to die so close to getting Dark Aether and having to play a whole nother game is just awful. I'm glad we survived it. That was an insane clutch. Good good on that zombie for getting caught in that corner. Because most of the time, they always just crawl away. Because we went down and then immediately went back down. So we didn't have our tombstone to bail us out. Would have been bad news bears, but hopefully we get Dark Aether right here in this round. I think we might very soon. Please show me it. There's Gold Viper. See, we are so close. We were so close. All right, zombies. Now you can take me out if you, you really want to. You know what? Come get me. I'm done. Take me out. Let's check our stats while they're taking me out. 2,400 eliminations. Oh, 420. We got to 420 as we got down. Let's go. Shout out Electric Cherry. Uh, 1,831 crits, zero revives, and four downs. Uh, technically three. I just went down on purpose there. But holy shit. What a clutch to get Gold Viper. Oh my Lanza. All right, I'll see you guys when we're looking at the camos. All right, here's what Zombies Mastery camos look like on the EM2. Here is Gold Viper. Not bad. I love it. There's coverage on the default scope. Very nice to see. The lighting in this area is really awful for some reason. But there you go. Gold Viper on the EM2. Plague Diamond, not bad either. Looking real nice. Plague Diamond always got great coverage. Nothing bad to say about Plague Diamond. Ooh, I've never seen a scope like that. That looks weird. 
seeing it from the front. And there's Dark Aether. I knew this thing was going to have great coverage. Hopefully, we don't get the same lighting bug. I, we probably will, but maybe uh, it'll look a little better in game. But the coverage here is amazing. It covers basically every part of the gun. They really add the coverage down towards the later parts of the game when they started adding DLC weapons. Just wish they would go back and fix the coverage on some older weapons. But let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like in game with Dark Aether, whatever it's called. I only said Darth Vader. I'm, I want to play the Lego Star Wars game bad. All right, this is what the EM2 looks like with Dark Aether in game. It's so nice. The coverage on this gun is amazing. This is a great looking weapon. I just, I'm still having that lighting bug though. Where you can see the camo on the side there like you see that nice pink on the scope we look at it and it's like it gets washed out when you inspect it for some reason i don't know what the deal is maybe it's the the operator skin i've been using i think that's the only thing i haven't changed because i've changed maps i've changed like angles of the sun it's maybe it is the operator maybe i'll try that next time i'll switch out the operator but there you have it em2 dark aether all right our em2 is done uh make sure you guys leave your comments below of what weapon you want to see me do next but i think right there is where we're going to end the video so if you guys like this you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week it's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later